हूतात्मा परमात्मा च मुक्ता नाम परमा गति अव्यय पुरुषा पुरुष साक्षी क्षेत्र क्षर एवच we are back with the vishnu sasalam playlist and we are text number 15 now if you have not watched the other videos please watch it in this playlist the translation for this shloka it's a very interesting shloka i'll tell you why lord krishna is supremely pure putatma and he is the su- supreme soul paramatma the first two words of this shloka So Lord Krishna is supremely pure, puta atma. We all know what the meaning of the word atma is. Atma refers to the soul, and Krishna is also referred to Paramatma here. So the word atma is used two times here. Okay. So this this is a very interesting verse. I was saying because this verse connects us to the original soul, who is the Paramatma. So. here actually see uh, as i said in my previous video the chronology is very important the structure so in the earlier verse uh, bishma pitama was saying om vishwam vishnu vasat karo so in that he said let me offer my respectful obeisances to the supreme personality of god at who pervades the entire universe vishnu then he said he is worshiped in the vedic sacrifices which is vasat karo so he was reinstating krishna's position all right so in the first he said he was vishnu who is pervading all over pervading all over then he said on his worship in the vedic literatures okay then in that same verse he had said he is eternally the supreme controller of past present future bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu he is the creator of the cosmic manifestation bhuta krit and he is the maintainer as well bhuta bhrit he is the master of all spiritual and material potencies bhava He is the creator of all living beings, Bhutatma, and the well-wisher who promotes their welfare, Bhuta Bhava Na Ha. So these are these are like big big things, you know, like what what uh, Krishna stands for. So he being sensitive. These are like external, all right. In the previous verse, we saw all the big external things, you know, creator, one who knows past, present, future, one who is the well-wisher, one who maintains, one who is the creator of the cosmic manifestation. is the master of the spiritual and material worlds creator of all living beings all the big stuff right but then what's in it for me then is the next verse okay putatma paramatma so you see if you remember in uh, krishna leela uh, the first demon krishna had killed was putana when krishna was very 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 small that time uh, kamsa had sent one demoness a uh, putana to uh, kill krishna actually so she had smeared a uh, kalkut wish which had come from the sagar manthan a uh, long time back long 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 time back and she had smeared that same kalkut wish poison in her uh, breasts and she came to feed uh, her breast milk to krishna actually you know uh, poison actually <laughs> so she was the first demon or demoness whatever you want to call it uh, all her that krishna had killed so her name was putana okay, so the word puta means pure right it's very interesting sanskrit and english puta pure <laughs> the root is the same pa so the word putana means one who is not pure which means one who has evil intentions one who is impure basically not impure exactly not pure <laughs> so so now in the earlier verse vishma said all these big big things you know what 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 krishna does and all all externally now he's talking of the internal self right so he's saying lord krishna is supremely pure puta atma so puta means again pure and atma is the soul so he's puta atma supremely pure and he is the supreme soul paramatma putatma paramatma cha okay paramatma he is the supreme soul there he is the source of everybody actually then he is the ultimate goal and destination of liberated souls mukta naam paramagati hi so now vishma is telling who krishna is internally he is supremely pure and he is also the paramatma 
okay then he saying now what about the end somebody may say why should i uh, why should i worship krishna so this is the reason he says he is the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated souls muktana muktana means the one mukti means the one who are liberated mukta naam means those who are liberated okay the people the personalities parama gatihi parama means supreme gati means destination so he is the destination of the liberated souls all right the final destination the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated souls and he is eternally avya avyaya purusha purusha sakchi he and he is eternally avyaya which means supreme person eternal means avyaya okay and purusha means supreme person the here the word purusha means supreme person okay sakchi he is the witness of everything and he knows what happens to all living entities chetragnya he is infallible akshara right so many things here <laughs> is the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated souls mukta nam paramagati why what does this mean he is the ultimate goal and destination so initially when the not initially actually when the yogi uh, attains spiritual perfection at a yogic platform then what happens is uh, the yogi is able to see the 400 parmatma form which is there in the heart of every living being as krishna says in the gita ishwar sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati is the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated soul so krishna says something very similar in the gita he says uh, uh, vedesh cha sarve aham eva vedyo vedanta krit veda videva cha aham he says it's very similar you know i am the creator compiler and the goal of the vedas this is what he says i think uh, so here he says and the destination of the liberated soul so what do you mean by this statement he is the ultimate goal what does this mean he is the ultimate goal he is the ultimate goal means that when the yogi sees the parmatma form then what happens the yogi develops attraction for the parmatma form right the yogi uh, if there is devotion or bhakti within the heart then the yogi can develop a desire to serve the parmatma okay just like a mother serves the child or a father serves uh, the child or a man serves a the a woman and a woman serves a man or anything as a friend serves another friend okay so if that feeling of service attitude is there then the yogi can develop a service attitude for the parmatma who is vishnu himself and uh, then later on if the yogi attains the association of spiritually uh, like minded people then the yogi can do uh, devotional practices enhance uh, himself or herself in bhakti yoga by which the yogi goes back to the spiritual world does and never returns back to this material world so so that is why it says he is the supreme goal right it does not say that disappearing or moksha or some some fancy stuff so when the living entity goes back to the spiritual world which is the vaikuntha planets which is beyond these these 14 planetary systems of this one material world the brahmanda then the the then the yogi is not uh, returning back to this material world any time because krishna says in the gita na yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama paramam mama one who reaches my supreme abode does not return back so when he goes there what does he do there right so there he engages in serving vishnu actually and uh, when when we are serving god only then we are happy actually we are not happy if we are taking things okay the biggest reason why people are frustrated in their religious or spiritual journeys is because of expectations from god oh god should give me this he must give me that if he is god why did he do this to me how can he do this how can god be so cruel how can he be doing all this to me actually it's our own karma which uh, gives us suffering actually god doesn't interfere in that karma right so 
so that is why it says he is the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated souls right because many times people think uh, to get uh, mukti means you know just disappear and disappear into nothingness do nothing just don't talk you know just just don't think just don't be anything you know, just just be nothing basically no it's not like this that is why it says he is the ultimate goal and destination of the liberated souls very 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 crucial statement mukta naam paramagati he is eternally the supreme person avyaya purusha purusha sakchi okay. he is the supreme person even brahma ji says this in brahma samhita ishwara parama krishna sachi dananda vigraha anadi radir govinda sarva karana karanam चिंतामणि प्रखर सद्म सुकल्प भिक्षा लक्षा प्रीतेशु सुरभीर विपालयंतम लक्ष्मी सहस्त्र सत संभ्रम सेव्यमानम गोविंदमादि पुरुषम तमहं वजामि अंगानि यस्य सकलेंद्रिय वृत्ति मन्ति सो इट्स द ब्रह्म संहिता व्हिच लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा हैड कंपोज्ड इट्स अ सेट ऑफ पोएम्स एक्चुअली व्हिच Uh, it's one point sorry so it's a set of beautiful verses which describes the spiritual world right so before uh, when the brahma samhita starts brahma ji also says ishwara parama krishna sachid ananda vigraha right so in, in that also he mentions anadir adir gobinda that is the statement anadir adi means he is the first person, person. anadi means like he is endless there is no uh, there is no beginning or there is no end so you cannot time when uh, krishna existed you cannot say oh he existed you know 1000 million years back billion years trillion years there's no time actually so that is why it's known as ana adi anadir adi so it's like it's anadi but it's still anadi means there's no time frame but still he's adi which means he's the first <laughs> so there's no timeline but he's still the first all right anadir adir govinda sarva karana karanam is the cause of all causes brahma ji says this and govinda is krishna himself so the same thing is said here he is eternally the supreme purusha okay. now here the word purusha does not refer to a male because you know, many times people they read all this and they are not aware of the context okay so they will uh, waste their life by inserting some gender norms to god also <clears throat> so for example if 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 some if a uh, somebody reads this and they say oh he was the first purusha who was the first three so here purush doesn't mean uh, a male or a masculine gender okay it means the personality okay he is the witness of everything sakchi sakchi means one who is uh, witnessing okay it's the witness the word sakshi we all know that so why does it say he is the witness of everything because He is the Adi Purush. He he says he has seen everything, and Krishna also says in the Gita, "I know the present, past, everything." So there is nothing that uh, Krishna does not know. The, in fact, the Acharya has explained that there are so many things about ourselves which we don't know, but Krishna knows it hundred <laughs> percent. Krishna knows um, when when a thought when before we. get a thought in our mind we before we perceive a thought it is said that the parmatma perceives it before us okay yeah that's how the parmatma is so even about ourselves whatever we know the parmatma knows it much 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 better actually than us and that is why uh, the acharya is explained that we should have faith in the potency of god because uh the the funny thing is uh, in this world uh, people believe god's power have you seen uh, they go to temple or church or mosque or anywhere some place of worship and they will pray oh god please give me this you know you are all powerful if you want who can, who can stop me, you know from getting this so it's very funny that uh, people have faith in uh, the power of god supreme power of god you know that he is all powerful he can do anything okay. but yet he people don't have faith in his intelligence yes because if god does something in our life which is good for us which may not be apparently so nice for us to us actually 
then we start cursing each other. Oh, what a useless bloody god you are. You are the most useless god I have ever seen. You have taken this away from me. You have given me suffering. You have given me sorrow. You have given me misery. You have given me pain. How dare you take this from me? I will become an atheist. I won't go to you from tomorrow. So this means we only believe in God's power. We do not believe in his intelligence. Because if we believe in his intelligence, then we should also have this faith that whatever he does for us is good ultimately for us. right? But most of the people, they only believe in God's power. If you tell them God is all powerful, he can do anything. Oh yeah, yeah we agree with you. But God did this in your life. What is your opinion? Ah, I don't think that's right. I don't think that was correct actually. So that's the foolishness of people in Kali Yuga. What to do? He knows what happens to all living beings. Chetra Gnya. Alright. Chetra Gnya means uh, one who knows everything that happens. Chetra Gnya. Chetra means area. Alright. Gnya means it's a Sanskrit word. Chetra Gnyo. Alright. Chetra Gnyo means uh, one who knows, right? So, one who is aware of everything actually, okay? Chara Evacha. Chara means he is infallible, which means he can never fall, never fall down. There's another word, Achutya, one who is infallible. Note, in this commentary, Srila Baldev Vidyabhushan notes that although Krishna is the creator of the cosmic manifestation, he remains aloof from it. For this reason, he remains always free from material contamination and he is the supreme pure. So this means, Abhalde Vidya Bhushan, as usual, he is a great Acharya in the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. And he says, he says that although Krishna is the creator of everything, he remains aloof from it, which means Krishna himself does not take part in the creation. He expands as Mahavishnu and then Mahavishnu expands as Shirodakshai Vishnu. Oh, sorry, Garbodakshai Vishnu and then Garbodakshai Vishnu expands as Shirodakshai Vishnu. And then through them, you know, Brahmaji is there uh, from Garbodakshai Vishnu's uh, navel. Brahmaji appears and then that same Garbodakshai Vishnu expands into every corner of the universe and also in our heart as the Paramatma as Shiro Vakshai Vishnu. So that's very interesting. That, that's the meaning of this. He, although he is the creator but he remains aloof from it. He remains always free from material contamination and he's supremely pure. Right. So therefore this verse ends with purity. So he's supremely pure and he is the super supreme soul. All right. So now Bhishma is Vishma said the external stuff, you know, all the big stuff, worldly things. Uh, not materialistic, but as a creator, God's power was mentioned in the previous verse. And in this verse, it, uh, the internal things are mentioned, you know, like God knows everything, what's going on, you see. So he's eternally the supreme Purusha. He is uh, supremely pure. He's the Paramatma, all right? So he's the ultimate goal of liberated souls, all right? So... This verse is very personal, right? Uh, I mean, the other verse was also personal. The other verse was more of in a reverence. This is more at a one-to-one -one level, you know, because everybody has one one uh, paramatma within themselves. So, <clears throat> therefore, uh, many times people have this thought that you know, how should we, uh, how do we purify ourselves actually? How do we purify our mind of all contaminations? You know, our mind is always negative, you know, all this, you know, there are bad thoughts, you know, there are, there, is, there are animalistic thoughts, there are lusty thoughts, there are greedy thoughts, there are thoughts of envy, jealousy, hatred, you know, and there's laziness inside, you know, these are all contaminations actually. Okay. So, if we uh, connect to Lord Vishnu by uh, reading the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, by listening to Vishnu Sastana, and by you know associating with uh, the great personalities, the spiritually enlightened beings within in the weekends actually, then we will also become pure gradually, and our mind will become free of contaminations, confusions, and all the darkness will be dispelled. Right? Therefore, it's very crucial that we uh, regularly recite the Vishnu Sastana because. The Vishnu Sasana is like getting in contact with Vishnu. Okay. 
and because he is supremely pure, Bhutatma, Bhutmatma Acha, okay? and he is also the Paramatma, so we will be connected to our ultimate source, right? So therefore, and if we do this, then we will also reach this destination. Muktanam Paramagatihi. We will also obtain the same destination which the liberated souls obtain. Right? He is eternally the Supreme Purush and witness of everything. And he knows what happens to all living beings. Chetragnya. He is aware of all the situations. He is infallible. Achara. Chetragnyo Chara Evacha. Alright. Very beautiful verse. Uh, next verse talks a lot of yoga. All right, we shall discuss it in the next video. Okay, thank you very much for your patience. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation, you can find my website down below exoticastrology.in. And God is there with you all the time. Just uh, read the Vishwasasana and you will find him. Okay, thank you very much. See you some other time.